there are three different modes available. When the knob points to zero symbol, the device is turned off. Pointing out the rectangle in the middle, the device menu is powered on but the drill does not rotate. If it points out the drill bit symbol located at the far right, the device menu is powered on and the drill starts to rotate. If there is an emergency situation, you can simply halt the device by hitting the knob. Now the device is latched and will not turn on. You have to turn the knob to the off mode of the device to reset the latch. You can adjust the drill RPM by turning the black knob below. On the screen, either the speed of the drill in repeat per minute or the z-axis position of the drill in millimeters is shown. You can choose which one to be seen by clicking the first node colored by a black circle. By pressing the white circled button, you can set the current Z position as zero. The red circled button turns on the lasers. And the yellow circled button turns on the flashlight. Some materials must be drilled with lower RPMs, whereas someone must be drilled with high RPMs. This device has two different RPM modes. One is limited by 850 RPMs, and one can reach up to 2500 RPMs. To change RPM mode, wait until the device stops. After that turn the switch located at the right side of the drill to the desired position. One indicates lower RPMs, and two indicates higher RPMs. This device allows you to use different drill bits with diameters up to 13 millimeters. First, you have to unlock the drill mechanism. After unlocking, you have to hold the upper black part of the mechanism steady and rotate the lower black part. The drill bit spontaneously falls off. As a pre-work, adjust the inside diameter of the mechanism for the new drill bit. Then push the drill bit inside to the mechanism and tighten it. Be sure to apply sufficient force. Then secure the drill bit by turning the red mechanism again. It is not a rare event that an object is stuck to the drill bit and starts rotating with it. This affects the quality of the drilled hole and more importantly, threatens safety. To avoid such an event, we have to use clamps. Be sure this pin is not locked, which means when we rotate the wheel only the springs are compressed and return to the starting point when the wheel is released. This movable stick enables us to set a reference height in a mechanical manner. Lower the drill to the lowest height you want it to be. Then turn the red handle and lock the movable stick. Now the reference is set mechanically. Note that, when this pin is not locked, springs are compressed. However when we lock it, springs are not compressed and as we rotate the wheel, the whole body goes up or down.